What's up, guys? Wait a minute. You guys aren't the real Avengers. I can tell Hulk gives it away. It's DTR. I'm your boy Karen. And I'm Akeen. And today we're doing Spider-Man Homecoming. So Spider-Man Homecoming is directed by John Watts. It stars Tom Holland, Michael Keaton, Robert Downey Jr. and Zendaya. So Spider-Man Homecoming takes place after Captain America Civil War, where he tries to live an ordinary life and become a young superhero and eventually an Avenger. Alright guys, now this is a totally different type of Spider-Man movie. This is probably the youngest Spider-Man we have seen on the big screen. Mm, just wanted to put a toddler to act there, boy. <laughs> Every movie, it just... It just gets me young, young again. <laughs> and he's also probably by far, combat-wise, the shittiest Spider-Man we have seen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He, he has a real hard time trying to be a superhero yeah, in this one. Yeah, yeah. Now, the studios actually took a different road towards this Spider-Man. They actually focused more on Peter, the boy, than Spider-Man. You know, it was all about him every day, his day-to-day -day activities, during school, the dance. Homecoming. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just basically about Peter. Now, because the movie focuses so much on Peter himself, mm -hmm. we're gonna say a bit about him. And part of that is that he plays the role pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. Like... Out of all the Spider-Man that we have seen on the big screen, I would probably say you know, he, for me, was the most believable in, in the essence of capturing Spider-Man's personality. That the man voice and all, boy. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, boy. The like, voice just take you back, boy. He, he actually has that Spider-Man voice. Mm -hmm. Now, even though this was a part Marvel, part Sony production, I must say you felt the, the Marvel character or the Marvel producers a little bit more. You know, you, you felt the color, you felt the scenes, especially the action scenes. Yeah. Everything was just placed there. It looked like a Marvel movie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It felt like a Marvel movie. Part of that probably being because, well, I am man in the thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, I actually appreciate that Robert Downey Jr. actually didn't play a major role or he didn't overappear. Mm -hmm. In the Spider-Man, you know, it was just enough boy. Now, even though there were some really good things about this movie Once again, we have a superhero movie That plays it safe And gives us a meh kind of villain mm -hmm. Even though they actually give us a little background of why he became the Vulture They did When he actually became the Vulture it was meh. <laughs> it was, it was. Now we reached the time of the review where we give we little gripes. First one, Zendaya. <laughs> 95 or probably 98% of this movie, we was like, what are you even doing here, girl? Like, what was your purpose? What was your role within this whole Spider-Man movie, boy? For the entire movie, <laughs> this girl must be had about 10 lines. Yeah, you know? it's, I come on screen two words, I come again three words. Next gripe here now, I appreciate the fact that they chose to give us more of the development of Spider-Man and actually did not mind the fact that he was a shitty Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. But you cannot be shit. For two hours and fourteen minutes, <laughs> you had to at least fool me for the last twenty minutes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For that last boss fight, you had to at least appear to be a badass. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And may I point out a Spider-Man with no spider sense, boy? <sighs> <laughs> a big stone like to me here. <laughs> Now, one more thing, just one, I have to point out that the movie had its boring, boring points, boy. It was just, whew. It's a long movie, mm -hmm. so there are a couple instances where it's just, it's just like, uh, let me just get going now, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let, me, let me read somewhere else now, now. 
Are we there yet? No. Overall, Spider-Man had some good elements mm -hmm. and it had some not so good elements. But at the end of the day, it's still worth checking out. So let us tell you that Spider-Man Homecoming is definitely a good vibes. Now don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, subscribe to us on YouTube at the Trini. Just like guys, look out! Here comes the Spider-Man!